in this video, I'm gonna show you seven of the best businesses for beginners to start today. All with proven market demand, high profit potential, and all have the ability to be started as side hustles and then quickly scaled up to million dollar empires. Starting with one of the easiest businesses to start that could have you earning your first few hundred dollars by the end of today. And ending with a business that has an almost unlimited potential to scale to the moon and is probably the one that I would do if I was just getting started today. If you can walk, you can run a business. There are 48,255,413 dog owners in the US alone. Each one of them is a potential customer for your new dog walking empire. You don't really need experience to do this job and it's an incredibly lucrative market worth a staggering $222.93 billion. And there are a ton of examples of people making a lot of money just making sure that man's best friend gets a little exercise. Start by offering your services to friends, family, and neighbors, and then build your clientele through word of mouth and social media. Provide good quality service, show up on time, and actually care about the dogs that you're walking and their owners, and soon you'll find that you'll be top dog of the dog walking world. That, uh, that wasn't a very good joke. And sooner than later, people will be begging you to take their furry little friends for a stroll. And once you've built up a long and loyal customer list, well, you can expand your business further by offering additional services like pet sitting. You could also start looking after cats, which would give you access to an additional 31,896,077 customers. So who let the dogs out? <gasps> you did my friend, and you're making bank doing it. Oh, this episode is full of bad jokes. Global warming is scary, which means that the green energy sector is here to stay and it's expanding really fast. It 18 axed, 18 uppled, octo decoupled. It grew 18 times between 2010 and 2020 alone. There are a ton of ways to get into the green energy space without needing an environmental engineering degree, including creating or designing reusable shopping bags. A solid option as more and more towns are banning the use of plastic grocery bags. Starting an organic gardening and plant delivery business. Or beekeeping. Or starting a goat rental business. Yes, you heard that right. Goat rentals, also known as goatscaping or rent-a-goat, is the process of using goats as a herbicide-free way of removing invasive plants and weeds, and really just keeping the lawn from overgrowing, and it's especially useful on steep terrain. I've already got my first crew goatscaping over there. It also cuts down on fossil fuel burning lawnmowers and is helpful at reducing the risk of forest fires. That is, unless your goat spontaneously combusts. Now starting a goat rental business isn't cheap as you do need to buy goats and you need a way to get your goats from point A to point B and all the other costs associated with keeping them fed and happy and healthy. But hey, if the goat rental thing doesn't work out, you can always try your hand at goat yoga or maybe even starting a goat choir. <laughs> When it comes to recurring revenue and the dream of generating passive income, subscription-based businesses are as close as things get. And subscription box services have grown in popularity as customers are looking for convenience and personalized experiences and more and more access to unique products. The subscription box business model involves finding and putting together and delivering a selection of items to subscribers on a regular basis usually monthly or quarterly, and gives you an opportunity to provide a really interesting and novel experience for your customers, often introducing them to new products or services or items that they never would have come across otherwise. There are obviously big players in this space, like Dollar Shave Club, which sold for $1 billion. But that's just proof that there's demand and there's money to be made in this space. Now, if there's already something that you're super into and know a whole lot about, then obviously start there. But if you still can't come up with an idea for your new subscription box business, well, maybe try one of these on for size. The Awkward Moments Box, a subscription box filled with cringeworthy yet hilarious items inspired by awkward moments in real life. The box could include embarrassing stories, games centered around awkward situations, and quirky conversation starting products. Or how about the Pet Shaming Box, 
Pet owners would receive a monthly box containing funny pet accessories like costumes and toys and signs for creating their very own pet shaming photos. Additionally, the box could include treats and grooming items to pamper pets after their brief moment of shame. You could also offer this as an add-on service for your dog walking business. Or how about the Retro Nostalgia Box, a throwback themed box filled with nostalgic items from the 80s, the 90s, and early 2000s. Subscribers could receive quirky merchandise like vintage toys and games and snacks and collectibles, transporting them back to their childhood. If saving the planet is kind of your thing, then you're really going to like this next business idea, as it kind of ties in with being a green business, but also lends itself nicely to the ever-growing trend of e-commerce and online shopping. Essentially mashing together two different massive opportunities in order to create one environmentally capitalist-friendly power couple. As the world becomes increasingly eco-conscious, the demand for sustainable and environmentally friendly products has skyrocketed, which makes launching a brand that offers eco-friendly solutions and alternatives to everyday products kind of a winner. Reusable food containers, biodegradable cleaning supplies, or ethically sourced clothing are all great options. And brands like By Humankind, Toad & Co, and Kimono My House are proving that you can create eco-friendly and ethically sourced products and still build a lucrative business. You can create the products yourself if you have the desire and know how to do so, but you can also drop ship them, which allows you to deliver these products without ever having to take physical ownership of anything. Or you could find a brand or a business or a product that you believe in and do affiliate marketing for them, essentially earning a commission every time that a customer buys one of their products through your link. Coffee is the most popular drink in the world. 30 to 40% of the world's population consume coffee every day. In the US, these figures are much higher and work out to about 65% of the population drinking it every day. 49% of people drink three to five cups a day. And 56% of people at least somewhat agree that coffee benefits their health. In other words, when it comes to a product with global appeal, it's hard to think of another product that people love more than coffee. Okay guys, we all drink them all. Now sure, coffee does have a lot of competition but it's also a $495 billion industry. So selling coffee can still be profitable, especially with a good branding and marketing plan. Plus, customers typically associate small brands as having a higher quality than large mega brands. This means that your brand new niche coffee brand has a real opportunity to stand out and be perceived as a higher quality with better taste, better flavor, better profile, better other coffee terms. Smoothness. Acidity? The key then is to make sure that you're naming it something creative, like Brewtopia, Javalanche, Bean Voyage, Mugs and Magic, The Bold Bean, Perky Planet, Brewmance, Drip Drop, or my personal favorite, Wake Up. Plus, coffee is one of those products that you can easily pair with pretty much any other idea on this business idea list, like subscription boxes, sustainable e-commerce, or maybe even green business if you can find an organic, ethical, solar-powered coffee farm to get your beans from. I'm willing to bet there's something you're really good at and also really enjoy doing. Maybe you love cooking or baking. Maybe it's reading or watching movies and then talking about them with your friends or outdoor activities or playing video games. It might be that you're a real animal lover and you taught your dog how to DJ. Impressive. But it could literally be anything from travel to gardening to board games to photography. Everyone has something that they're into and the odds are good that there are people out there who want to learn how to do whatever it is that you're into. People that you could teach or coach or train in order to help them learn faster, avoid common mistakes and get better results. And you can do this through online coaching, online consulting, or by creating and selling an online course and joining the online education space. An industry worth $166.6 billion and expected to just keep growing and be worth $238.4 billion by 2027. But before you say that your hobby or interest or skill set is too small or too neat, or that nobody would care about it, I assure you that there are already coaches and courses on pretty much everything out there, including poker, Starcraft, yes, the video game, knitting, oil painting, I'm actually going through this program right now, motorcycle repair, photography, and bread baking. Whatever you choose though, one thing is for sure, in order to make it work, you're going to need to do a little bit of marketing for it, maybe a lot of bit of marketing. Which is what makes this next business idea probably my favorite opportunity of all, and is the one that I would choose if I was starting a brand new business today. 
There are 33.2 million small businesses in the US alone, and they all have one thing in common. They all need customers. And if you can be the one to help them get more customers, then you can make a lot of money in return. I mean, a lot of money. Which is what makes starting a lead generation agency such a valuable, in-demand, and profitable business to start. Now, I don't wanna make any income claims here or tell you that you're gonna get rich overnight or anything like that. So I do need to preface what I'm about to tell you with a long list of legal disclaimers about how all of what I'm about to tell you is for entertainment purposes only. Nothing I'm about to tell you is even remotely true. You shouldn't take advice from me or anyone else on the internet for that matter. And in fact, you should probably just skip the rest of this video and definitely do not subscribe. Don't you do it. Oh, don't you dare. Okay, we cool? Good. So with that out of the way, here's the deal. Starting a lead generation agency where you do marketing for other businesses in order to help them generate leads and customers and sales is possibly one of the greatest business models ever. There's almost always high demand as pretty much every business out there, regardless of market or industry, is always looking for more sales in order to grow their business and increase their revenue. It's scalable as a lead generation can easily scale up simply by adopting new marketing channels, expanding its service offering, or targeting new markets. There are very low startup costs and you can start just with yourself or with a very small team, minimal equipment, and free or low cost marketing software, and then scale up as you acquire your new clients and your business grows. It offers recurring revenue as what you'll find is that many, if not most of your clients will prefer to form long-term relationships in order to make sure that you continue providing them with that steady and consistent flow of leads that they've come to love and expect. It's flexible and allows you to live and work from pretty much anywhere that has an internet connection. And it can be very lucrative as all you need is 10 clients at $1,000 a month each in order to generate 10K a month or 20 clients at 5K a month in order to generate $100,000 a month. So to help you get started with that, I've put together a video right here that's going to give you a step-by-step -step guide showing you exactly how to start a digital marketing agency of your very own. So make sure to check that out now and I'll see you in there in just a second.